Okay, what we have here is a model in Blender and there's about 60 particles that have a little bit of gravity associated with them. They're orbiting Mars, which has a lot more gravity. The particles initially, they clump together and then they gradually are affected by the gravity of Mars. This is in an elliptical orbit, so it starts off at the high point of its orbit and gradually comes in closer to Mars. And as you see it coming in closer to Mars, it's being affected by something called the Roche limit. And what the Roche limit does is it preferentially tries to have particles that are closer to Mars orbit at a faster rate and the particles that are further from Mars orbit at a slower rate, slower angular rate, and that differential tears the, the, uh, the collected particles apart. So assume that you have an asteroid or a moon or something that falls into an orbit like this for some odd reason, and it's a, it's a jumble of individual clumps and parts. We call them rubble piles. Um, our rubble pile here uh, is being stretched out initially, you can see, into two separate chunks. But as it gets to its closest point to Mars, um, it will be pulled apart even further. So I will stop talking for a moment and let you watch. The idea of the Roche limit is that all bodies have gravity that holds them together, but if they fall through a gravity field that's stronger than its own self-gravitation, the, the stronger field will pull it apart. Uh, when you talk about black holes, for instance, th this process is called spaghettification for kind of an odd reason. You can see things are pulled out into a string. Uh, but nonetheless, it, unless the, the body has internal mechanical strength, you know, for instance, if you imagine that all these particles were cemented together with ice, water ice or something, something that glues them together, then they might be able to resist that if, this effect. But if they're just loosely bound together simply by gravitation, um, this will happen, you know, once you pass within a, a stronger gravity field. Uh, we have seen this uh, in the past with Shoemaker-Levy 9, I believe it is, uh, a comet that uh, came close to Jupiter, and the individual parts, the individual chunks were pulled apart this way. Okay, um, I'm planning on uploading this Blender model to my Dropbox and I'll put this in the information uh, uh, section of the video down below, down below in this YouTube video. And if you have Blender or want to download Blender, uh, this was done in Blender, what are they up to now? 2.72, version 2.72. You know, it's using Python. I don't know if you get up to version 2.8 or 3 or whatever, if this will still work. But it will work in version 2.72. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, simulation, and if you do download this file, uh, please by all means feel free to uh, play around with it and try different things. <laughs>